What's up guys, Reptile Road here, and I just want to talk about how awesome this book that my leopard gecko, Gia, is sitting on is. Um, I got this book uh, probably about three or four weeks ago. I've read it over front to cover, and I must say I am very impressed. Um, this is Gia, my Murphy's patternless uh, male leopard gecko, um, and he's going to help us record this video tonight. Um, so I recommend this book to absolutely anybody in the hobby, whether it be, you know, you have leopard geckos or not. I definitely recommend you have this, um, have this book. Um, and that goes, that, that's to be said for beginners uh, or for experienced herpers. Um, you all need this book. If you don't have it already, and if you do, you know what I'm saying. Um, Gia, <clears throat> I don't think he likes the book very much. <laughs> he doesn't want to stay on it. Um, so, the reason why I think this book is awesome, um, for beginners, it's awesome in the sense that it goes over a lot of details about caging, um, appropriate caging, appropriate temperatures, appropriate feeding, um, as well as nutrition and supplements um, such as uh, Ron Tremper uses uh, Vitonate for his juveniles and hatchlings and um, os osteoform for his adults, uh, which is definitely something to look into. Um, but as you can see, there's just so much information um, packed into this book that I think is absolutely necessary. And then for the more experienced uh, enthusiasts, this book is absolutely awesome in the sense that it goes over commercial breeding, um, as well as breeding. I mean, I think even if you're not into breeding at this current moment in time, eventually you're going to want to get started into breeding. Um, and Ron Trimper includes a, a section on breeding as well as a, a section on commercial breeding um, in which he includes a business model that can actually be expanded to other species of reptiles other than just the leopard gecko. Um, and this business model, um, he pretty much talks about the do's and the don'ts uh, of how you should start your business. It's in this chapter, commercial breeding, um, and it gives you like a little business outline uh, of what you should do. It's called charting breeding outcomes, and he pretty much gives it to you like it really is. Like he doesn't sugarcoat anything. You know, he pretty much says keep your day job. You know, because because that's going to make things a lot easier for you in the long run. Um, until eventually, maybe you can completely and totally support yourself just through breeding. So that's like one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video um, was for that reason, just, just just to tell people that if you want to get into breeding any reptile, uh, particularly leopard geckos, you should definitely look into getting this book for that reason. Um, another reason why this book is awesome is the here you can sit on me, my leg. There you go. Um, is the catalog of morphs that he includes, and these are all updated morphs. Um, the ones that breeders and himself are working on currently, um, and as well as uh, projects that Ron Trimper is working on currently to try to, you know, re uh, recreate certain morphs that have just, you know, popped up in his breeding projects. Um, and that would be Gia right here, as you can see, the Murphy's Patternless, um, which he goes into saying that sometimes this, this morph is... Mis, uh, mistaken as a leucistic, which is not the correct term. It would be a Murphy's patternless. Um, and that you know, it, there's also the Las Vegas snow, which is created from a Murphy's patternless. Um, so that's definitely one cool thing about the book as well is that just from reading the book, I have correctly, somewhat correctly, categorized what morph my leopard gecko is um, after being mistold that he was a leucistic, and I said that in one of my previous videos as well, but. I mean, chances are I won't really know exactly what morph he really is until I were to do line breeding, but I'm not going to breed this guy. Um, he's just, he's just going to be my pet. But 
chances are he's a Murphy's Patternless. But we don't know what he could be het for, if anything, if he's het for anything. We don't know. So um, that's another awesome part of the book, is just the extensive catalog of morphs that this book includes. And then one interesting part of this book that ties into commercial breeding is uh, his um, how to design a new morph section, which I think is vital because eventually, you know, if you're going to start, you know, breeding any reptile, eventually, whoops, eventually that's your, your new, you know, that's your goal is to create a new morph. Um, that's everyone's goal in the long run. And he includes in this new edition just that, how to design a new morph, the steps you should take in order to do that. Um, and this book, I feel, is, is for all of those reasons, and then some, an, a definite vital component to uh, beginners as well as advanced enthusiasts. Definitely a must. And these, these are going quickly. Um, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure they still have some more copies. If you haven't picked one up yet, you should go ahead and do that. They run you about $30 uh, plus shipping. Um, but if you want something a little cheaper for now or something to supplement this book, you can um, get the app, um, which is available for iPhone as well as Android. And this app, it doesn't so much come with all of the vital information that the book comes with, but it comes with a, a morphology guide of, of all of the leopard gecko morphs from A through Z, and little brief descriptions of them as well. This app is only $9.99. Um, so they're both definitely well worth your money. Um, and I definitely recommend you guys pick either, if not both, of these vital pieces of information up ASAP. All right, well, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.